Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Unify Express. It's the new device from Unify. New for us, especially in the UK, it's only been available for a couple of weeks, a little bit older in the US, but it's uh, it's pretty new. Um, and I'm quite excited about it actually. And I am literally learning with you today. I have not seen this device. I've read about it on uh, online, but I've not actually seen the device itself. So the unboxing video in this is my first time seeing it. The setup is my first time doing it. So you're learning with me. Um, it's a very nice looking device. Um, and it's got some pretty good features and it is very, very good value for money. I'm gonna be saying that a lot today, it's very good value for money. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna share my screen with you and we'll go through some of the uh, specs on it. Then we'll do the unboxing, then we'll do the setup and then finally I'll just give you my kind of final thoughts on it. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay, so this is the Unify Express. It is £123.60, including that in the UK, which is unbelievably cheap. That really is cheap. So if we look at, say, let me have a look here, the Dream Router, never in stock in this country, but when it is, it's uh, 190 pounds. So this is a little bit more of a capable device. It's not really fair to make a direct comparison to it, but there is a bit of a price difference there. So this, for people that wanna spend a little bit less, this Unify Express, is definitely a good option. And also you might notice that it's almost exactly the same price as, in fact it is the same price, as the Gateway Lite. The Gateway Lite does a lot less in terms of its features. It's only got Wi-Fi, it hasn't got Wi-Fi, sorry, it's got no console, uh, it's not a console as such. Uh, it's just a gateway, it, it can't manage uh, other devices, etc. So you might be thinking, why, why, why is the Unify Express the same price when it does so much more, which we'll look at in a minute. And I think actually the Unify Express is probably a little bit less powerful. I haven't looked properly into the specs on that yet, but I, that's my suspicion. Um, so I believe that that is why they're able to offer it at that price. So let's get into it. So this device does lots of stuff. So they say impressively compact, it is absolutely tiny, as we've just seen, a diddy little thing. Again, very good price. It's got built-in Wi-Fi 6, so it's an access point in itself, and that's a two times two access point, um, 140 meters squared uh, coverage, and 50 plus connected Wi-Fi devices. It has only got one one gig WAN port and one one gig LAN port which is a little bit irritating. You really want more LAN ports on a, on a router uh, or a gateway, but again, it's a tiny little thing and it's very reasonably priced, so it's not the end of the world. It's got a nice little screen on the front, which kind of diff um, makes it, you can tell the difference between that and the gateway light based on that screen, basically, because they look otherwise almost identical. It can manage up to four additional unified network devices. So what that means is as a network controller, you can add four more devices to that. Now just remember, if you're gonna be using Unify Kit for everything, then one of those devices is gonna be a switch because it's only got one LAN port. So that's just something bearing in mind that essentially, if you wanna have three access points and a switch, that's your limit really. If you wanna have four access points, then the Unify Express is not for you. So, and then um, the other thing to say that it says here, when operated as a gateway, and that's because the Unify Express can be operated in a few ways. I am just gonna be doing this in a kind of gateway uh, setup. I'm not gonna be getting into the other types of setup, but there are other options. I think it essentially can act as like a mesh point. I've, I've not actually looked at that really, so, um, but we, we mainly just focus on, uh, on access points. So we probably won't be using that. So yeah, that's all the specs. Um, I will do the unboxing now and you can have a look and see exactly what it looks like. And then we'll get onto the setup and then we will talk about my thoughts on it. Okay, so here we have it, a beautifully designed box as you would expect from Unify. We'll just get it unpacked and then we can take a look at it. Got a little quick start guide there and all the films off and now we can look at it. Okay, so on the back there you've got the two ports, you've got the WAN port and the LAN port and then you've got the USB which is for the power and a reset button and that is it. You've got the LCD screen on the front and the Unify logo on the top and that is literally all you get with this device. It's very slick looking indeed. So we also get the little uh, QR code there so we can scan it. We get the power lead in the box, but if you're in the UK, then you need a UK plug. So that also gets sent. So there's mine. And the only other thing you get is a little ethernet port. So that's uh, presumably so you can plug it into the LAN. So that's the lot. Very slick, very small, lovely looking device. 
Okay, so I have plugged in the Unify Express and I've opened a browser and then I've typed in the IP address 192.168.0.1 and now we are ready for the setup. So uh, yeah, you get presented with that nice little graphic and then you get this little uh, thing about data. So we'll say set up Unify Express. All right, so we'll give it a name. I'm just gonna call it YouTube Express. We'll agree to the terms of service and then we're going to say next and this way you just input your account details for your Unify account if you haven't got an account then you can create an account at the bottom um, and if you've got two-step verification set up then this is the time that you will have to input that okay so once we've got the verification set up it's going to ask whether we're going to do a backup we don't want to do a backup so we're going to continue that sorry restore from a backup um we're going to give it a wi-fi name i'm just going to say wi-fi express and we'll just give it a password of password one two three there we go okay now it's starting its setup now the reason i went straight into this was because i'm using a dhcp type internet connection if you're using a different type of internet connection then you might have to go to advanced settings and input those details for example for a static or a pppoe connection okay so we've got about five minutes on this setup so i will catch you again when we are done Okay, so once the uh, first five minutes were done, we then get an update and that's about 20 minutes. So that's gonna be a little while. So again, I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, so we've done the network update and now we're good to go. I've just refreshed the screen just to make sure. Let's double check that. We've got no more updates on there. So it looks good. So now we can go into network and we can start to take a look at that. Okay, so the dashboard looks pretty familiar. Um, obviously, we haven't got a lot going on at the moment because we've just literally started with this. Just a little bit of information about uh, my IP address from my provider and internet uptime, etc., etc. But at the moment, we haven't got much else. So what I want to have a quick look at is just what we've got in terms of features. Just make sure we've got all the features that we would expect from a unified console. So if I go down to settings, and then this is all looking very familiar. So we've obviously got a Wi-Fi, we've got a network, so we can create our new virtual networks, etc. Internet, VPN, let's see if we've got all the VPN services. Yep, we've got Teleport, uh, VPN server, we can do Wi-Gon, OpenVPN, and L2TP. So that's all there as well, that looks great. In terms of security, we've got all our stuff here, traffic rules, yeah, port forwarding, firework rules, excellent routing yep that's all there as well so everything looks exactly the same actually it doesn't look like we're losing any of the features that you would get in the normal consoles so that's great I've got the wrong country here I'll change that that's odd that it hasn't automatically recognized that because I am in the UK on the console settings and obviously we've got all the regular stuff there so this all looks good actually so I'm quite impressed so far so we are just looking like we're running a normal console here we've got all the new ports and radios etc um, so that's great so I'm pretty happy at the moment that this is working well but now what I want to do is I want to add some devices to it and see how easy that is to do it should be nice and simple now, there is one limitation with this uh, Unify Express and that is the fact it's only got one LAN port. So at the moment, I'm plugged in on the LAN port to this uh, to this Mac, um, but I want to start adding some equipment. The first thing I'm gonna add is this flex switch. So um, I'm gonna have to unplug my PC and then connect the uh, flex switch. So I'll have to jump onto the Wi-Fi from the Unify Express and we'll do it that way. And then we'll see how it all goes. I mean, I'm hoping that this all works perfectly. Um, I also just want to see if there's any kind of warnings about whether or not uh, we've got a device limit and, and uh, you know whether it's maybe possible to add more than four devices. I don't know if I've actually got more than four here. I've got three. So we'll try that and we'll see if we get any sort of telling us that uh, we haven't got many devices left. Okay, so let's crack on with that. I'll just connect to the Wi-Fi and then we'll do the next bit. Okay, so I've plugged the flex switch in and we are connected to the Wi-Fi. So hopefully, oh, just got a notification on my phone. So hopefully we should see this device here. Yeah, right, so the flex switch is there, so we can add that. And then what I'm gonna do from that is I've got a couple of uh, U6 Pluses here. We're gonna add those and then we'll see how it all looks. So I'll do that and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've got all our stuff set up all went exactly as it would on any other console uh, no issues whatsoever 
um, we get all the information that we would normally get. There's no warnings on here about the number of devices. We, in theory, should only have one more device that we can add. When I install this, which we'll be doing very soon for a client, uh, we will have an additional access point. So I'll be interested to see whether there's gonna be any kind of warning about that, whether we've reached our limit. But at the moment, it all just seems pretty happy. So that's the setup complete. So let's just go on to my conclusions. Okay, so is the Unify Express for you? Well, I think that this device is actually really nice. Um, the uh, price cannot be argued with, like it's such good value for money. It's a very neat, beautiful looking device, as you would expect from Ubixi. Um, and it's the setup's been really easy. And as we've seen, we've got all the features that you expect from a larger console. I suspect if you're gonna be putting it under a bit of strain, if you're gonna be adding lots and lots of VLANs or putting lots of features in, then it might struggle a little bit, but that's yet to be seen, only time will tell. The other thing about this is obviously this is just for network. So if you're planning on doing anything else like cameras or anything else, VoIP phones, then you're, the Unify Express is not for you. Similarly, you've got to remember that that four device limit is quite important. So if you're planning on doing a setup and you're pretty happy that you're not going to be adding any additional kit, then perfect, Unify Express is, is absolutely fine. But if you think there's a chance you might extend that network or add some additional kit, then again, the Unify Express probably isn't for you. But there would be no harm in getting this and then replacing it at a later date because it's such a cheap model. So overall, I would say I definitely recommend the Unify Express and um, it is something that we will be using on some of our smaller deployments. To be honest, most of the time we have more than four network devices on our installations, but on some of the small stuff, then I think it could be really useful. Okay, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.